in. Uh, assessing the airway. There are so many things that can cause us problems in anesthesia. But improper assessment is probably one of the things that gets us into the most trouble. You know, we've all gone in and thought, well, you know, this is, you know, we're really a perverse group. You know, how many of you walk down the street and go, God, I hope I don't have to intubate that patient. <laughs> walk outside. I was doing it last night. You know, and there's some patients that look exceedingly, ah, boy, that's going to be an easy innovation. You look down there and all you see is pink and froth. You don't want to have that happen. So assessing this airway is so important for us. You know, there's a lot of challenges that we have. <laughs> and you've got to have a lot of guts. Now, I do a difficult airway seminar, and I was doing it opening, uh, triangular opening between the vocal cords, narrowest portion of the adult. Uh, remember in the pediatric patient, the area around the cricoid, the, called the conus elasticus is the narrowest portion. Now, the airway is controlled by those. Three is by doing exactly what we do here, a good thorough evaluation of the airway. And so take the time to not just walk in, have the patient open their mouth, move their neck back and forth, because there's a lot of airways out there in that world. And there's a lot of challenge.